Martin Herkins, thank you so much for coming and joining me on the Mary Jess Meets podcast. How are you doing today? Thank you. Thank you very much for having me uh, in your podcast. This is uh, very excited. First time for me also. So, <laughs> but I'm very excited to see you again after our uh, very nice trip in, uh, in Taiwan. Absolutely. I'm so grateful that you could come on the podcast because not only am I so looking forward to catching up with you, but for me now, coming back to England and being in lockdown again, Taiwan just feels like a very vivid dream that I had. And so the fact that you're here on the podcast just reminds me that it was real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's real. That's really because all the people here in, uh, in, in my village, when I uh, walking with the dog or something like that, uh, reminding you of uh, that you're being there, uh, really being there, you know, it is, it is like a dream. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it really did feel so surreal to be on that stage in front of all those people. I mean, our first concert together, that was 50,000 people there watching us. <laughs> yeah, unbelievable. Eh? Unbelievable. I think also this, this really, really, yeah, and the day afterwards were uh, even more, you know, yeah. 100,000 people. It's for me the first time I, I see such a big crowd there. Yeah. yeah, it was an incredible feeling. And I remember asking you if you were nervous and you said no <laughs> no 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 really i saw i saw you were a little bit nervous but i think i can i managed to uh, uh, to get you uh, to do this together and uh, together we are strong uh, i believe uh, yes. especially on the, on this tour yeah. yeah yes i completely agree and to be able to sing those songs with you as well we chose the prayer and time to say goodbye. Yeah. And you know that for me, time to say goodbye is the song that changed my life. That song means everything yeah. to me. But I know that these yeah. songs are special for you as well, aren't they? Yeah, really, really, really. This is a very nice, nice song. And I, I enjoyed really to sing with you. Uh, uh, I think you're a very sympathetic lady, uh, but also with a very talented voice. Uh, I, 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 I have a very, very good time. Yeah, yeah. thank you for so much for doing this with me. Thank you for singing with me. <laughs> so when you got that invitation to go out to Taiwan, I mean, I know when I got the email saying, would you like to come and sing in Taiwan? I thought it was a joke. <laughs> because I got the email when I was in lockdown and I was thinking this cannot be possible. But you had already been to Taiwan and performed at these events before. So you must have thought, well, this isn't a joke. This must be happening. But how is it going to be possible? What did you think when you were invited? Yeah, I think uh, the, uh, whole, the whole world uh, had the problem that the, the agent of the, the, the I say, uh, everything was booked, uh, getting out of your, uh, I say uh, in, in, in a good English, everything what, what booked was canceled, everything, yes. you know? And then uh, uh, I, I have a big, uh, uh, a big uh, uh, things going on to do in New York, uh, China, uh, Taiwan, uh, uh, Slovenia, uh, Austria. So, but then nothing uh, anymore. And then you 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 think when you reach some uh, message from from Taiwan, you think I, I know it was true, but I think I think something come in between. This is this is not going to happen. I think there will be some problems. So. When this really happened, then that and we can go, uh, we were very happy to do that because of of the problems we have here in Europe, and to make uh, to make six weeks without uh, without Corona uh, would be very nice uh, thing to do. Yes, I felt like I was on a COVID holiday. <laughs> really, really, really. <laughs> if you think about it uh, now, afterwards, it is unbelievable that we that we uh, could enjoy us there so much, uh, uh, knowing the whole world is getting in lockdown. You know, it's really unbelievable, really unbelievable. Yeah, well, you had six weeks over there, but of course, for the both of us, the first two weeks were spent in the quarantine facility. How did you find the two weeks in quarantine? Yeah, uh, this was because of the uh, knowing that uh, the people in Taiwan are so unbelievable friendly. Um, we are looking forward to get there, even 
with a, a Corona, uh, 14 days Corona hotel. Uh, maybe in the beginning, I was thinking uh, if, it, uh, if it's worth to go to 14 days in, in a quarantine to sing in Taiwan. But for me, it was no, not thinking about uh, going there or not. This, for, for, me, for us, it was uh, uh, so nice, the memories we have on Taiwan and the people from Taiwan, that we, we should go there. And the, afterwards, I think the, the, the 14 days uh, went uh, very fast um, with our uh, strategy. We have uh, looking a lot of TV, uh, sports, singing. So. Uh, for us, it was the 40 days was uh, really, really fast. And how did you feel when you finally got out and you had your freedom? Your freedom well, after quarantine? <laughs> yeah, it is uh, unbelievable that, that you, you can feel that this feeling uh, of getting free. Uh, that was a new experience for us also. Uh, so 12 o'clock at night, uh, the, the, the COVID time was over for us. We go outside and we have a feeling, oh, oh my God, we are free. It's, it's, that's another feeling you have all uh, every day. Uh, it was a new experience for us. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And then to be able to experience normal life again, because within the Taiwanese borders, we were able to go and live normal life and experience things that are cancelled here in England. Like I got my hair cut because I could in England, I cannot. Yeah. <laughs> you know, these, yeah. these simple That's things right. that we take for granted. And it was just, yeah. for me, it felt like, like, you know, when you ride a bike and you haven't ridden a bike for a long time and then you get back on the bicycle and it's, it's easy. You remember, for yeah. me, it was like, yeah, yeah going back into normal life so quick. Did you feel the same way? Yeah, that's when we are, uh, with Marianne as well, um, saying how uh, fast you used to do this uh, new life again. How fast you, you, you're doing that without thinking, without, yeah. It's really yeah. Uh, strange, strange. It is strange. <coughs> and I, we were saying to yeah. each other that what we've seen what we've seen in taiwan has given us so much hope for the future hasn't it because we have seen that they yeah. have beaten covid they have got their normal life we can do the huge concerts and i know you did a lot of tv interviews as well as newspaper articles while we were in taiwan spreading this message of hope yeah yeah that's right that's right uh, but it is also something i feel really really feel that uh, um, now are you are more uh, how you say that um, <clears throat> convinced that it will be uh, okay also in, in 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 europe it will take a little bit longer but it, it's going to be okay the, the the world is going to turn to the to the right thing again yeah it's given me that that hope and that feeling as well. And I can't wait for the day when I get to walk out on a stage again and see the crowd. I mean, that feeling in Taiwan with you when we were walking out and we were seeing 100,000 people. I mean, I knew how it felt for me, but how did it feel for you? Yeah, so unbelievable. I, 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 love, I love the Taiwanese people. Uh, uh, I've been there now the fourth time, and they are treating we, we, us like like real artists, right? like yeah, almost like the king uh, of Holland, you know, or or the queen of, of England. It is really unbelievable what what they're doing for us. And when you're standing in front of them, seeing how 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 happy they are that you are coming from uh, the other side of the world, sing for them. They they yeah they enjoyed it. Uh, as much as we do, I think. Yeah, and wasn't it amazing when they all got their phone torches out for time to say goodbye? <laughs> oh, really, really nice. <laughs>
often now on the pictures and on, on the film we have. Um, it's really, really unbelievable that, uh, that I could uh, experience this. This is, uh, yeah, this is really, really, really nice. Yeah, the atmosphere was incredible. And I'm going to put some links below in the description to the footage that we have, as well as some of the pictures, because I, I look at the pictures taken from above, you know, the aerial shots that they yeah. had, and you see all of the people, it still blows my mind. And I was there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah this, nobody can even imagine this uh, in these times, in, in these days. Eh? Unbelievable. Yeah, we absolutely. Did <laughs> we did. We did it. And it was absolutely yeah. incredible. And I really want yeah. to talk about now how you got out to Taiwan in the first place, because you won Holland's Got Talent. And yet you are yeah. so famous in Taiwan. They all know about you. Can you tell us how yeah. that came about? Yeah, I, I tried. Um, when I... Um, my youngest daughter signed me in for the program uh, Holland's Got Talent, uh, without me knowing, without me knowing it. So they they phoned me and say, uh, uh, you you uh, signed in for the program uh, uh, Holland's Got. I say I did nothing, uh, and I don't come. Uh, I don't come. So I was thinking about it uh, one day, and then I say, okay, let's 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 hear them what what I can, and and that's okay. We go home again. So, and then you win the program. I know you know what it is to win such a program. Uh, I never thought about it to to even win uh, something like this. But on the moment you do, yeah, the, the whole world is uh, is changing around you. I, I, I'm 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 convinced that I'm the same person uh, that I was before. Still, I think, but the whole world around you changed. And the way people looking at you and 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 see you, so then there came a, a, a first, um, I say that a, a invitation from a, a Beijing TV, and I thought also this is a joke, this is not true, uh, somebody uh, making a, a, a bad joke. <laughs> so I was looking at it and showed it to to someone else uh, in that time who could help me, and. Then it was uh, Beijing TV, and I could sing there for the New Year's uh, celebration. To come there and and sing, I think for uh, 80 million people looking on on on, on the TV screens. That was the first time. In the meantime, I've been to China, I think, for uh, 22 times, um, and to Taiwan four times. So uh, a lot of Asian uh, traveling <laughs> I did, and this because of uh, you raised me up. What what's the the what you say is uh, time to say goodbye. It's for you, but for me is this. Uh, of course, you raised me up because people are are really really crazy about this this song. Yes, and you told me while we were in Taiwan that somebody filmed you singing this song. And then they made a video yeah. where they used Chinese in the video to tell your story. And then it yeah, went viral right. in China, didn't it? Yeah, that's, that's right. That's right. First, uh, it get viral um, uh, here in our neighborhood. <clears throat> and I thought, oh my God, one million uh, views. That was, that was very, very much uh, the, the most in Holland, you know. Uh, this, so... Uh, then was one Chinese man, uh, the guy who was putting the the, the, the lyrics uh, from the song and, and my story in Chinese signs, and then it went uh, went uh, viral, uh, like one million views every week. This was so unbelievable. So, <clears throat> and then you talk about uh, YouTube, you don't talk about the Chinese uh, 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 media. This, so this was really, really unbelievable. Yes, you're right. China, they have their own versions of YouTube and their own versions of social media. Yeah. So <clears throat> it had lots yeah. of views on, on YouTube, but then you've also got all of these other social media websites where it was shared as well, don't you? Yeah, 
yeah, yeah. This, this, this you, you cannot imagine how how much uh, people are seeing this sound or knowing you because of this sound. Yeah. And this is and this was is a song I didn't uh, I didn't sing at the show in in Holland's Got Talent, but only from singing this in Maastricht, uh, uh, our capital here in in our province, um, because of singing there, uh, this film get viral and. People liked it so much. So yeah, how uh, you cannot uh, uh, organize something like this? This is this is happening. This is happening, and you have to grab it with with both your hands and uh, uh, be be lucky. And 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 yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It, was was the song <clears throat> you raised me up? Was that special to you before you sang it in Maastricht and before it went viral, or was it just one of your favorite songs? And now it's gone on to change your life. Yeah, you, <clears throat> when I went when I went the program, I think uh, two weeks afterwards, we have to make a, 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 a CD with twelve numbers. So then you have to show s s numbers who. Uh, uh, I think what 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 nice songs. So and then uh, you raised me up was one of them. I, I think that um, one of my favorite songs. But there were a lot of favorite songs by then. So but we have to take some songs because we have to to tape that on 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 the CD, make some new thing, new things because that was the uh, yeah we have no time for that. <laughs> yes, things have to happen so quickly after you win a show, don't they? They want to be able to really make yeah. the most of <clears throat> the exposure that you've got. Yeah. But let's talk about yeah. the show a little bit more. When you decided to go along and see what they had to say, what were you hoping the outcome would be? Um, what, what I did was, I, I really said to, to my wife, uh, I don't go, I, I, I don't want to do this. Uh, but then, okay, my, my youngest daughter, uh, yeah, my daughter signed me in and said to me, go to, to this show and uh, let them hear what you can do because you are an unemployed. Why not? Why not? So I could think about it for one day and, uh, and, and in the morning, the lady is calling me again and she said, uh, I'm from the program Holland's Got Talent. Uh, don't hang up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> because that's what I did the first time. <laughs> so then, then I get there and I, but I go there without any expectation at all. I, 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 I thought I'm going to sing there the best I can. The, the way I think I have to sing there, not doing anything I can do, but only doing things, uh, uh, yeah, what I'm feeling, you know? And Afterwards, that's that enough to win the program. That is unbelievable. You, you, you cannot believe this. But how did you feel when you were getting voted through each round? Like, did, did any ideas come to you where you're thinking, I hope that this turns into a tour or an album? Like, were you, yeah, what yeah. were you hoping for? The only thing, the only thing I, I hoping for was when I get in the second round, I thought, Okay, now I can go and, and sing uh, uh, somewhere. Uh, people gonna invite you to sing maybe once in a month or or, or whatever, you know. That that I was uh, uh, satisfied with it to to do it that way. And I think I think uh, when I'm getting out uh, voting out now, it's it's no problem. It is it is what it is, and uh, I I let them hear who who I was and how I can sing and maybe they invite you to come to their shows or, or whatever so but without without any uh, real expectations I, I did my best I think that's that's it yeah that's completely amazing you really made the most of the opportunity that you had and people just fell in love with you but I wonder what life would have yeah. been like for you if um because I know you'd been singing all your life, really. Did you ever think that you would have a career as a singer? I kind of I wonder what life would have Never. been like for you if if you'd have gone into singing as your career first, whereas instead you went into baking and you were a baker <laughs> for for your whole career before yeah. you became a professional singer. And it's amazing. I said to I remember yeah. saying to my mum um, when I'd first met you, I said. 
it's amazing what Martin has done because you were able to have this whole other career before becoming a professional singer. And now you've got a whole other career as a professional singer doing engagements all over the world. Like, could, how could you even imagine that that was going to happen? Did you imagine being a professional singer like this when you were younger? No, I, I mean, uh, when I was seven, I started singing. And the, the, the director of the, of the child choir, uh, he asked me to sing the Ave Maria, uh, and the Panis Angelicus and something Ave Verum to sing in uh, funerals and uh, and in I always say weddings, you know. So from a seventh until I was fourteen, I sang this. I think two, three times in a week. The, he came to the school, ticked on on the window, and then I have to take my coat. And go to him in his car, and we drive to a church, sing, and he bring me back. That's that's my whole life in school. <laughs> it's really, but I never, I never stood, thought that that would be uh, my career because I'm I was working in a bakery with a family uh, uh, business, and I was with a lot of pleasure. I, I did my my job, you know, for 32 years. Every day I go to to my work with a smile. And I was a very happy, happy guy. I have a lovely family. I have a lovely wife. And uh, I thought I was a very happy and uh, happy guy. So that didn't, sh didn't change, doesn't change. Uh, after my uh, singing, my career now, doing this now for 10 years, 11 years, it's, um, um, I'm still a lucky guy and I'm still a very happy guy. You know, I think that doesn't change. I think that's amazing that you feel that way and that you have taken the opportunities that you have, but you've not only taken all these opportunities, but you've been able to spread so much joy with what you've been able to do. And I know that when we were all struck with COVID, you really wanted to give back to people and you did an amazing thing where you went around to all the care homes to sing to people and tell us more about that because yeah. it's a wonderful story i loved hearing all about it when we were in taiwan together so tell the story again <laughs> yeah that's uh, when we are uh, here in, in in limburg in holland we were um i always thought what could you do for our community and there was even there was a, a, a one time I, I wrote in a, in a newspaper that they don't collecting anymore uh, the paper the old papers you know uh, they're collecting the old paper once a week or once a month and they have no people anymore to do that. I said to my wife Marianne, uh, should I uh, uh, volunteer and do this for our neighborhood? To uh, when everybody doing this, there is no problem. So. And then she said, maybe you can do something else instead of making old paper to the, uh, the, the cars. Maybe you can do something else. So we thought about this. And then um, a colleague of me said, uh, should we do this? And should we go to the um, elderly homes, nursery homes and singing from outside? Because no one, nobody was allowed anymore then to visit, to visit them, and um, I start uh, doing this um, from from like yeah, why well, you say that uh, from the garden or or from the, to sing to the people. They they open the windows and listen to to, to us. I, I found a guy who making uh, for the sound. He he's take care of the sound for us, and we did this and. Uh, we did now 76 nursery homes. We, 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 we go there and make some music for them. And this is really uh, in Corona time when there's nobody visiting the people anymore. Uh, it was a nice thing to do. And I feel very, very, uh, like I say that proud and, 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 and yeah, to, 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 to do that, to, 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 that I did that. Yeah. It's just so wonderful how you said that you're, you feel like you're a happy and lucky guy and then you want to really share that feeling of happiness and give happiness to other people through your singing yeah. and through your voice. And of course, said, this oh, was... I said, oh, 
I said also in a newspaper here um, that it feels like payback time. You know, I was so lucky for, for 10 years doing everything I, I, I love. And, and I have a great time to, to do it. And uh, it was a little bit like paying back time, you know, uh, doing something back for our community uh, because these people are making that I can sing everywhere, you know. And I remember you saying that they were looking out of their windows and waving at you as you were singing the songs to them. Did they have a favorite? <laughs> did, they, did they request any songs? Were they able to do that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We, um, um, I think, the people here in uh, in our uh, province, uh, we have a very uh, special uh, slang. We talk, and if you sing in in that slang, uh, people love it because they remember it from from when they were young, you know. And and I I love to to sing this this slang as well, you know. Yeah, when you say slang, it's like your local native language, isn't it? Yes, yeah, that's right. That's right. Limburgs. The, our, our province is Limburg, and when we when we talk, uh, maybe you you have heard it. When we talk uh, Limburgs to each other, it's even in Holland, nobody can understand us. So <laughs> that's very, amazing. Because yeah, because we are living in uh, at the border in Germany, and uh, I think when we go twenty kilometers the other side, uh, at the border of Belgium, so every. Uh, uh, yeah, slang there is different and, and, and made the, the slang we talk, yeah. Wow, that's so interesting. And I know that you sing in so many languages and I was so thrilled to hear you sing in Mandarin Chinese. How did you feel yeah. when you first started learning your first Chinese song? Yeah, this is, uh, this is un unbelievable. How uh, That's what we saw, but also in, in, in China, when you see how uh, how people react on on the fact that you sing Chinese for them, uh, they forgive you uh, even when you don't sing it perfect or or, or pronounce it perfect. They uh, love you because you you doing this because you try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Because they know and, it's and difficult. And and they and they sing along, eh? And I, they sing along. That's uh, that's what I like very much. Yeah. Yeah, they love singing along to you when you sing The Moon Represents My Heart. And that's, oh, oh, I love yeah, how yeah. you sing that. I love how you sing that. Yeah. And you you ask them oh. to sing with you, don't you? Yeah, yeah, See, oh, of course, of course. Then I know they enjoy themselves, you know, and that when people are enjoying themselves, then you know you're doing good. Yes, you're yes. Good, you're doing a good job. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. But how did you feel tackling your first Chinese song? Were you worried about the pronunciation? Did you find it difficult? Was it fun and interesting? How did you feel? Uh, difficult, because yeah. it was very difficult um, uh, to, to try and do. I think the moon is, is, is a song, maybe it's a little bit uh, easier to learn. There are, I think there are more Chinese songs, even more difficult. So, but it's just like, um, yeah, like every uh, foreign language, you have to learn and you have to practice. And, 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 and then you, 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 you see that a lot of uh, uh, things coming back uh, to your mind and you know, and you remember. And I think that is something I, um, I managed to, to do, uh, to sing in, in different languages. And, and the, the most of them are saying also that, uh, that they like it or they understand what I'm singing. So th this is really, <laughs> really good. <laughs> it is very good. And your pronunciation is, is very good as well. I think I might have oh, yeah. to teach you some more Chinese so we can have a, a the next podcast. We can speak Chinese to each other. <laughs> In Chinese. I, I can tell you uh, the, when, when we get back to, to, uh, to Holland, um, we, we thought, what, what, what are you going to do now? Eh? We talk about it. Uh, how are you going to do on Corona times? But I'm start, <clears throat> I'm start learning Chinese. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's very difficult, but I want to, to say, I want to, to try and, and, and try to, to say something more in Chinese than I do now. Because that's what I'm saying. Uh, what you did to people, you can, uh, you speak Chinese, you, 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 uh, 
the people hanging on your lips when you were uh, speaking Chinese. I, I liked it so much, so I said to, uh, uh, to my wife, even to a, a newspaper here who was interviewing me, uh, uh, what are you going to do? I said, I'm going to learn Chinese. I'm going to try. <laughs> That's absolutely amazing, Martin. Well, you know, you can come to me and we can have practice sessions if you want. <laughs> but that's not the only thing that you're doing during COVID times. You've got a very big project that you're working on, which is writing a book during COVID times. Yeah, yeah about your life. Tell us about that. Yeah, that's, that's true. Um, we start this uh, project, I think, uh, like a year ago. Um, Every time I'm I'm being interviewed, uh, I always said there is so much to tell. I could read, I could write a book about it, you know. Uh, but now, and somebody said to me, I think we have to do this. We we, we have to actually do this and and, and write a book, and then. Uh, we start uh, collecting uh, all items. We, we, we want to be in that book, uh, photos. Uh, so it's a lot of work. And Rob, my manager, is uh, helping me uh, a lot of with this. And then uh, now there are busy, uh, now the translation is, is uh, in English also. Um, and when this is uh, uh, ready, I think the next step will be the Chinese, uh, English Chinese uh, translation for the book. <laughs> That so would be it's amazing. a very, very interesting, yeah, very amazing and interesting uh, project for me, um, because yeah, who can say there is a book about uh, about your life? This is really unbelievable. <laughs> Especially in all those languages as well, and I'm sure it would do so well in China and in Taiwan because they just love you over there. I mean, you mentioned earlier that you've been to China 22 times, and yes. Just it's amazing that you've been able to go over there and see so much of China because it's just such an amazing place. But maybe tell us about yeah. your favorite time of going to mainland China. What was your favorite time going there? I did, um, I, did uh, I think, four uh, tours uh, through China. Um, and I think, no, three, three times. The, the fourth time was uh, last year in October, but that is canceled. Um, but that was very uh, nice to do because uh, every time, uh, every day in another uh, city, uh, another theater, uh, but it was very exhausting to do, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Singing as well is such a physical thing, isn't it? It takes a lot yeah. of energy and it takes a lot out of you because it is for your full body, it's exhausting. Yeah, it, it, it gives you a lot of uh, energy. But it takes oh, a, a lot of energy. Eh? You, you know yourself when when we are singing on the end of the evening, you are exhausted. It is your total empty. But that, that's no problem because uh, in front they this giving you so much uh, uh, energy to do this and and you, and to want to do this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was because after it was after the concert to 100,000 people, I think I was I was so excited and so elated. But it's the it's not only the, the singing that's physically demanding, it's all the adrenaline that's running through your veins because you're going to do a show. So all the adrenaline is it. It gives you the energy when you need it. But then afterwards, yeah. you do get you do get tired. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's really right. Yeah. Yeah, but I feel like I'm still riding quite high on that um, amazing energy from the concerts in Taiwan because the audience is there. They gave us so much energy and it made us want to give everything that we could to them to just make the most of that opportunity of being out there with them and sharing that moment with them. And I know that that is a memory that I am going to treasure forever. Forever. Yeah, really, 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 really. really. Yeah. I <laughs> I can't, I can't say nothing else what you said. That is, that is really, uh, I have the experience before. You, you ask us, how is Taiwan and how are the people and, uh, and should I go in quarantine for 14 days to, to sing for two weeks? And we said to you, you have to do it. Eh? You have to do it because we know how those people are. And uh, I, I'm so glad you, you felt the same way and they treat you the same way they do us 
they treat us. Uh, I mean, they make no difference in be uh, between uh, the one and the other. It is, it is really unbelievable people uh, where we, uh, yeah, where we've been. Yeah, absolutely. I'm so glad I was able to ask you about it beforehand as well, because I knew that I was going to be locked in a hotel room for two weeks. And because I yeah. hadn't worked with these people before and I hadn't been to this is my first time to Taiwan, I hadn't been to Taiwan before. I was worried about them locking the door to the hotel room and forgetting about me. <laughs> but it was the complete <laughs> opposite. Like we had gifts yeah. delivered to our room day after day. And it was, we need, you know, we need an extra suitcase. Yeah. <laughs> you too, we too. Yeah, exactly. I needed, well, I needed two extra suitcases in the end to take yeah. everything back home. It's just their generosity is absolutely amazing. And I think we can yeah. very safely say that if anybody is watching this and they're thinking about going to Taiwan when all of this is over and we're allowed to travel again, go to Taiwan. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, really, really. Uh, yeah. I, I was, I was. I think we are very lucky to, to, to. Even in this time, in this Corona time, to go and sing and to sing in Taiwan was even more uh, a pleasure to do because of the people there. Yeah. Exactly. It was an absolute pleasure, and I'm just so grateful for that opportunity. But now that we're back from Taiwan and we are back in back in COVID land, back in COVID times, what are you looking forward to in the future? My, my first uh, singing, what am, what am, now, now I have seen the Ju July 9th, there is a wedding, a very big wedding in Austria. The, the people uh, ask me to come. Um, I hope this is going through because we make a little uh, holiday uh, edit uh, with Marianne, and um, and the next is in Slovenia in um, in September. So this is the the, the things we 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 can go do. But uh, I think we made uh, uh, we talk about each other and 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 when we were in, in Tainan, uh, singing together was a very uh, big pleasure to do. Um, our voices, I think, uh, really match with each other and um, so there are so much more music we can do and I, I asked Rob to to find out how we're going to do this because I, I want to sing with you uh, some duets uh, uh, like like a COVID uh, 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 you sing in your studio and I sing in our studio here and find out how we're going to do this and we make a very nice duet. Uh, I think I sent you some music, uh, a Chinese duet, but also a very nice English uh, duet. So I think we have to do that. This is something I'm, I have in my papers uh, uh, right here in front. So I'm practicing every day to, to make something nice of it, yeah. That's wonderful. And I'm so excited about singing with you because I agree. I think our voices work so well together. And I'm so grateful that we were able to sing together in Taiwan and that that is now leading to something that I can feel really excited about for the future because we need to keep hold of the hope that we feel for the future. We need to keep hold of having things to look forward to. And so I thank you so much yeah. for giving me that to look forward to because even with COVID happening, we will find a way to do something that we're going to really love, really enjoy and create something that we can really feel proud of. And I'm so excited about that, Martin. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. And we're going to do this, eh? We're yeah, gonna we're going to do it, definitely. <laughs> well, Martin, if okay. anybody wants to find out <clears throat> more about you or they want to follow you on social media or they want to buy, buy your music, where should they go? They can go to uh, my website, martinhurricanes.nl. Uh, .nl. Perfect. Yeah, .nl. On my Facebook or uh, whatever, Twitter. If, if, they if they want to find me, they can find me very easily. <laughs> Perfect. And I'll make it even easier for them because I will put all the links that they need down in the description below so that they can find you as well. And I highly, highly recommend going and finding Martin and listening to his beautiful voice because he is 
Amazing. Well, Martin, thank you so much for joining me today on the Mary Just Meets podcast. Thank you so much. Thank you thank so you. much for having me on your. And it was a very pleasure to see you again. It's still yeah. Again. I hope it will not be the last time. Definitely won't be the last time. <laughs> thank you, Martin. Thanks for joining me. Okay. Bye. Love you. Bye bye.